Hi again and welcome back. Welcome to this new section. It's about Arabing. Arabing is one of the most important steps if you want to complete your project. If you create anything inside Blender or any 3D software, this your geometry, what you have uh, did inside the 3D software, should go uh, through stages. All right, so you model what you want to model, for example, a car, a table, a uh, teapot, anything you want to model. After that, you need to give it a material or you want to add a texture on it. So if you want to, to create a chair, for example, and uh, you want to give it a wood texture, so you need to bring an image of wood and apply it on the chair to uh, give it the feeling of the wood. You can't do this unless you are rabbit and make it ready, make the care ready to receive that texture or that material. So we are here to make the models ready to receive the material. And that's called a rubbing. It's, we can say it is easy uh, in general, this, uh, the rubbing. It's easy, but at the first time, if this is your first time to understand to understand Arabic, it's a bit tricky and uh, not so quite understandable at the first time. But after that, you will uh, realize that it's very easy and you can handle it and you can Arab almost anything when you understand when you understand correctly. I'm here to try as much as I can to make it easy for you, and we will start together to. Uh, take example, too much example, until we learn the Arab, and after that you will be ready to Arab what you model, and uh, your model will be ready to receive the material correctly. So, all right, now let's get started, and here we have this uh, small cube here. Let's try to understand what's Arabing. Arabing mean cutting the geometry from a specific area to open it. For example, here I have this cube. If I bring a scissor and if I cut this cube from this edge, for example, and this edge as well, and this edge, what's gonna happen? I can open this area as a door like this. So it will be like that. Something like this. All right because I cut from here and here and here as well. And if I cut this side, if I cut this and this one as well, I can, I can open it here and it will be like this. All right, something like this. And the same side, if I cut, uh, and for this side as well, if I cut this from here and there, from the other side, I mean, I will get a result like this and I can open this side here and this one as well on the ground they, and they will be like this. All right, something like this, they will be. And now after that, I can paint here and paint here and paint there and do whatever thing I need to do and closed back. I'm gonna show you an image to understand uh, what's exactly unwrapping. Don't forget this side as well when you open it. So unwrapping, we can say it's opening the geometry and make it flat, this is the idea. Now you, th you, you see that this cube become flat if I open it. Let's go to another uh, example here. I guess here too, uh, this example is just a beginning to understand what's exactly arriving. And I have a nice image I got uh, from the inter internet to uh, uh, understand Arabic more. Let's bring this one here. You see this cube. We made the cuts by using the scissor. And we open it like this. Now, if we paint anything here, for example, if I made uh, let's bring those here. If I made, for example, something like this shape like that, 
I will see it like this here. And it will be as well like this. So the idea, I need to open the geometry so I can add a texture in, on it to get a result like this. This is the arabing. When I will take more example about arabing, you will understand it more and more and more. If you didn't understand right now what I did, it's okay. When we take examples, it will be easier uh, to understand. <clears throat> I got some images here from internet. We will use them. The Pepsi here and this uh, facade here and these images to learn why Arabic is something important. All right, now to go to the Arabic section, we need to split this window to two. So let's put the mouse right here at this corner and let's split the window to two and let's switch the editor to, to UV editor. All right, now if we tap to the edit mode for the geometry, I can see the UV of this geometry it's opened and ready almost any geometry you add here inside blender for example if you add cube if you add uv sphere anything here you can add you will see here in the uv editor that the uv is ready and opened but if we deform this cube if we add if you made any extrusion here, you need to add the new seams and unwrap it again. Let's go here before we do anything here. Let's go to this section right here and, and let's go uh, to the UV map here. You will see here inside the UV map, we have the UV of this cube. Because I have this UV, because uh, the UV exists here, I can see that I can see the result right here of this UV. And if I delete the UV uh, from the UV map second here, this one will go. And that's mean I need to unwrap this again to get another UV map. So I will hit this minus to delete it. And there we go. We don't have any UV. And now let's start with a simple object. For example, this cube. Let's re-unwrap this again. And let's see how can we do this. All right. First, you need to go to the edge mode and select the edges that you need to cut. I mean the scissor. So I need to cut this one. I need to cut this one. And I need to cut this as well. So let's grab them first. Grab this hold You have to grab this and this one as well. And let's go to UV here. And here we have mark seam. Mark seam, that means you will bring the scissor and cut them. All right. So let's go here and hit mark seam. So as you see here, now we got a red color. That means these edges are not connected in the UV map. All right, now we made a cut here and one here and one here. But just keep in your mind, the cut that we made here is not affecting the geometry this one it's just affecting the uv right here that means if i grab the vertex here and if i move it you will see that everything is connected but if i unwrap this you will notice that this face right here it's connected just in one side this side because we didn't add any seam here i mean we didn't cut it from this uh from this edge and I will give you just a quick example here. If I hit eight circle all the faces and go to UV and hit Arab to Arab it, notice what I got here. I got the result. This face that you see here, this one, is this face here. And the rest of the faces here are the cube itself. As you see, the result here is mass because we didn't add a seams here as well. We didn't cut it. So the result here is not correct. 
and notice here as well in this area we have a new UV map because we hit a wrap we hit a wrap when when we use this menu here all right now let's add another scene let's go to the edge or you can uh, stay in the vertex mode let's take up this vertex and this one and you can hit right click by the way and you can hit uh, mark seam you, you should go to the edge I think to get this right click yeah mark seam and now we got a seam here and here as well grab this one and hit right click and mark seam so now we got a seam here and seam here so what that's mean is this face because we add a seam it will be opened like this here all right and this one will open like this we need more seam to open this face and that one as well from the other side all right let's grab this egg and this one as well and hit right click and mark them as seam and now if we hit a wrap this one will go like this and it will open like this and this one here will open here and this one will open right here and that one as well it will be something like this let's say it like this all right all right something like this so let's see hit a select everything and go to the uv and hit a wrap and there we go now we unwrapped this cube and now uh, this cube now become ready to receive the texture correctly let's examine that inside google i found this texture i need to use it i will use it to uh, see how can i apply this on the geometry first let's tab out and let's split this window to two again and let's switch the editor to shader editor because we need to create a material first and as you see we don't have anything here let's go to the new button here hit it to create a new material and now we have a new material hit n to close this panel here and there we go all right now let's go to the folder and grab the texture of the wood and put it here inside the material editor here and now we have the wood texture all what you need to do is connect this node to this one all right so grab this put your mouse right here hit left click and move move it to this node here and that's it okay now we have a material or let's say we the text the wood texture now uh, applied on the cube but we didn't see it because we need to go to the material uh, material mode you can switch it here it's called uh, material preview you can hit Z and go down here to material preview that's better as you see now I can see the material applied on the cube but let's take a copy of this cube and let's see what's gonna happen if I delete the UV so now we have two cube the two of them uh, have the UV if I grab this and tap I can see the UV here as you see and I have the wood texture as well here and if I grab this as well I have the UV but I will grab this one and I will go to the UV that I have here and I will delete it there we go because we didn't have any UV the texture this one will not apply it here why because we don't have a UV so UV is something very important to uh, make the geometry ready to receive the texture correctly but for this one the texture applied correctly because we have UV map all right so 
uh, this is the difference here. All right, let's grab this and let's tap to the edit mode and let's see what we can do here. Let's go to the UV section. Let's make this small because we don't need it anymore. And let's grab all the vertices inside UV, inside UV editor. We can move the UV. You can uh, select like this and we can hit G to move. And when I move the UV on the, on the texture, as you see here, the texture is moving. And for example, if I grab one vertex for this one, and if I move it, you will see that effect the texture as well. If I take this down, you will see that I have some uh, problem here. The texture is not correct because I moved this down and that's not correct. And let's uh, hit Control Z. And if I grab those together down, you will see that the texture is stretched on this face. By the way, this face right here is exactly this face here. So if I deform it, I will see the effect here. All right. I will hit Control Z again. Let's say grab this one and hit G to move it. I think this one here, or maybe, I don't know, maybe this one or this one, one of them. Yeah, this one. If I move it, I make it small, you will see that will affect the UV. And if I, if I make it tall, if I hit G and make it very tall, as you see here, the texture become uh, sequashed. So deforming the UV here will not affect the geometry itself, but it will affect how the texture will be applied on it. This is the idea. And now you can, you have the ability to make, to scale the UV and make the texture here uh, small. As you see here, we can zoom in. Or you, you can make it very small according to the texture itself. And you can make it big here. So if you make it small here, the texture will, will, uh, will be very big. It's like you zoomed in. So this idea this is how to control it and manipulate it. All right, let's hit G and center it right here and scale it just a little bit like this. Let's mention uh, one important thing here. If you didn't select all the fades here, you will not see uh, all the UV here on the side. For example, if I deselect this mesh, the UV is disappeared here. And if I select one face here, I can see, can see it in the UV. If I select this face, I can see where is it here in the UV. If I select two, I can, I can see them here. And whatever thing you select here inside the 3D viewboard, you will see it inside the UV. If I select all of them at A, you can see them, uh, all of them here. So for example, if you want to manipulate just one face, just select it and here inside the UV, we can move it and put it wherever you want to receive, uh, to give it any texture. For example, I need to give it the texture that here, that's uh, on this area. So that's mean you just need to move it and put it right here. And let's select them all. As you see now, this one face now is no longer connected to this, uh, to the cube, but if you, hit everything again and, hit, and go to UV and hit Arab, it will be united to the group. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next videos, we will take more example until we understand Arabic and make it easy. See you next.